Hello guys. In this lesson, we will focus on the how can we select the characteristic equation for a desired point or the roots on S plane. Okay. And so, in the first place, uh, we should draw the S plane like this one. Okay. J and sigma, and so this is S plane. And so we know that the stability is satisfied with the left hand side s plane is filled by the roots of the characteristic equation and so if we select the root 1 or s1 s2 s3 on this plane and then the system is stable okay and so uh, what about the previous equation the previous equation is that the which is it can be copied by using this term or we can write it again in here like this one the characteristic equation is equal to what is equal to do s over 3 plus c x plus k d divided by i x times s square plus kp i x times s plus k i divided by i x okay these are characteristic equation but how can we select the proper kd kp and ki value for the pole placement and so if we can draw the c desired point in here like this one s plus s1 s plus s2 times s plus s3 and so if we have this kind of equation and so if we select the s1 for example minus 98 97 s2 is equal to 21 s3 is equal to minus 11 and so if we can create like this equation in here and so we can obtain the CE desired like this one s over 3 plus 119 s square 3005 s plus 22407 okay and so this roots creates the this desired equation and so how can we use it this desired equation first thing, this equation is stable because the, every root of this parameters are at the left hand side of the s plane okay and so if we create by using this roots on this diagram or the equation and so we have obtained these coefficients and what about these coefficients a1 a2 and a3 can be assigned to this one and so if we select the kd which is equal to 129 at this position and so our characteristic equation can be conditioned or can be equalized with this desired equation and so what about this and a1 should be equal to what c x plus kd divided by i x and a2 is equal to what kp divided by i x and a3 is equal to what ki divided by i x and so if we assign the whole the term with the equal term and so c x and i x coming from the system but we can choose the kd factor to equalize the this term and so if we have a desired characteristic equation and then we have a stable system but in order to equalize this term with this equation of motion or in the laplace transform form and so we can select the kd is equal to what a1 times i x minus c x and so 
kp is equal to what a2 times i ek and ki is equal to what a3 times i ek and so if we choose the kd kp and ki value with these coefficients and so this desired equation satisfied on our closed loop transfer function domain okay because if this term is equal to the 129 and so the system is stable at this root of equations okay and so if we have this kind of information in here and then we can control the system or drive the any reference point and we can accomplish the tracking performance on this system notation okay which is the basic rule of the PID coefficient selection on the desired location and so this can be called by the pole placement method okay this is the pole placement method and it's easier because the if you have a, this kind of information in here or if you have fourth order differential equation and so the s over 4 is in here and then we can also add the sum term to equalize the desired position on these things okay and so firstly we need to choose the desired position or desired characteristic equation with these coefficients we can assign anything in here but but we can be sure about that if we have this position in here oh, this is the minus this is the plus term in here and so we need to add the total information in here and so s term should be equalized to this term okay and so <coughs> in summary we should obtain the characteristic equation of motion in the Laplace domain with the terms of the KD, KP and KI and so we should choose the desired root position in here and so S plus S1 is equal to 91 and so the root of these things minus 91 and so this equation is satisfied in here and so this term should be equalized by the CX plus KD divided by I egg, KP divided by I egg to A2 and so a3 is equal to the what the ki divided by i egg and so we can find the proper kd kp and ki value to drive the system in the reference position okay these are method in here and so additionally we should obtain the state space of system in here like this one and so in the first place the state space in time domain is equal to the what is equal to the this one i x x dot dot plus c x x dot is equal to the what is equal to the torque value okay these are general notation and so the x dot dot is equal to the what the torque minus x dot times c x times 1 divided by i egg and so in the state space form is what z1 is equal to the x z2 is equal to the x dot z1 dot is equal to the z2 and z2 dot is equal to the x dot dot and so the z2 times minus c egg divided by i egg plus torque times 1 divided by i egg and so this are state space and so z dot can be given by with the coefficients of 0 1 0 minus c egg divided by i egg okay and so z plus torque times super 1 divided by i egg and so these are general notation of a and b matrix in state space representation form and so in the next uh, lesson we will drive this equation on the method simulating application and so the, we can select the proper coefficients of to what to system dynamics in controller approach and so we can design we will design the 
PID controller loop in here and then we will get the, ob the order obtain the total time response of our system for a given reference point. Okay?